What do you want? Someone told me the rest of Afterlife's nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. If someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Must go in alone. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength, directness, and vigor. Modesty, chivalry, or meekness frustrate and bore her. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Getting her alone and falling under her sway. That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Okay. What other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halex. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morin sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. Let's get started. Shepard, we only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morin will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily, and you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I wanna... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. What kind of music do they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this Asari digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. She sounds amazing. Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. You're an interesting one. I hate this place and everyone in it. Every night I hate it all over again. Uh, hi. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Florit. He's the worst of the worst. What is she doing? A vid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile gang leaders. Your friend could get hurt. 
Yeah, and she's going to. See, Florit's on to her. His gang is on the way here, and they're gonna make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Florit's going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Florit, my friend will get the message and get out of there. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order. Please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. I don't talk to people. This is where you want to be. Something I can do for you, lady? Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? That is a pretty strange question. I get by on public terminals. My Omnitool's been broken for an eternity. That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. I love this place. Bitch isn't coming back. I'm gonna here. find her. Thank you so much. I really thought she was going to die. Hey. Hey! I'll dance next to you. If you want to think we're dancing together, go ahead. I do want to think that. hunting tonight. I'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of Arya's people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep Hink off our packs. Hey, what are you looking at? A pair of sad losers who think they're something, and are about to find out they're not. <laughs> Who's gonna show us that? You? The human thinks she's tough. Tougher than you. Back to my place. I got simple tastes. Back off, asshole. I'm a dancer, not a hooker. You got a mouth on you. I'll enjoy watching you use it. The lady asked you to step away. You want in on this transaction? Hey, I don't care if it's you or this bitch. I just like good times. Good times are over. Thanks for that. Security was asleep. Dance with me anytime. You're breathing on my drink! I guess they'll let anybody in here now. No standards anymore. Can you back that up? We go out to the alley, only one of us comes back in. I'm just trying to have a drink here. No need to get all excited. Damn humans.
Jeanne de la Marnier. What'll you have? These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone! We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? I know what I like. Do you? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? What do you think of Halex? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Do you know Veenya? My favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. I'll have to watch it. Maybe we could do that together. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places? Violence is the surest expression of power. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. I was into dueling for a while. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted, and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? I'd rather fight than hide. Yes, better to take control of your fate. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. You compare us, but you're nowhere near my league. So strong. 
I need this. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. I'm not the victim you were hoping for. But you... Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Marin! Ugh. Mother. Do not call me that! I can't choose to stop being your daughter, mother. You made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me! Enough, Morinth! I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. Find peace in the embrace of the Goddess. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? Let's go. So, I heard a human went into the plague zone. Then I found out about a lot of dead Vorcha down there. You know anything about this? I saved you a lot of trouble. You should be grateful. Grateful? Huh. Now I get to deal with the slavers complaining about the reduction in their crops. But that, I can handle. What's your job here, exactly? I'm supposed to keep the Vorcha in line. Keep them out of Arya's sight. That's about it. Not much for me to do anymore. But the way those Vorcha breed, I'll have something to do soon enough. Are the Vorcha gonna be a problem from here on out? Not as bad as they used to be. They breed fast, but they die young. As long as we keep them controlled, we'll be fine. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting me. Ugh. Hello again, Commander. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a 
social worker now, believe it or not. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above? I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. I have to go. Of course. You must have. things to do. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? Pour me a drink. Hold the poison. Oh yes. I heard about my predecessor's little scheme. I'm very glad you survived. I've been instructed to give you drinks on the house. Rest assured that they will contain no illicit ingredients you haven't asked for. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? I'll just have something to drink. Of course. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? I'll just have something to drink. Of course. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? I'll just have something to drink. Of course. Welcome to Afterlife. How may I serve you? I'll just have something to drink. Of course. I got the message last time. I work at a shipping dock, all right? Leave me alone. No. You said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch, Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari Matriarch, only male. It was Arius little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Ari arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. Rumor has it some people want you dead. Know anything about that? Oh, I can think of a few. I know things. Old secrets, old grudges. 
few floors you can dig up to find bodies underneath. And someone who wanted to weaken Arya might come after me. They do it to get to her, you see. Not for me. I don't matter enough anymore to have enemies of my own. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. Some people want you dead. I've been asked to move you to safety. Well, of course. Arya wouldn't want me hurt. It would make her look bad. But perhaps Arya's reputation is no longer my concern. Perhaps I will stay. See who thinks me important enough to kill. You allow Arya to protect you like you're her pet? I thought you were a Krogan. Arya let me live. She gave me a position of honor as her advisor. She gave you a position of comfort as her trophy. Is that what you want? Or would you rather go down fighting? I wish she killed me the day she beat me. That would have been a glorious death. But perhaps it is not too late to die well. Perhaps these assassins will remember my name. Farewell, human. Thank you. to speak with you, human. Something about Patriarch taking on a squad of mercs by himself. I wouldn't keep her waiting. I heard my old friend Patriarch died. Went out in a blaze of glory. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I couldn't stand by and watch you coddle him like a pet. He was better than that. He was. No one has challenged me the way he did centuries ago. Perhaps it is better this way. You've done a lot for me, Shepard. Let me return the favor. We're sending your coordinates to a cache on an uncharted world. You want it? It's yours. What's the catch? No catch. I don't need it, and I don't want it to go to waste. Whatever you find is yours to deal with. Sounds like you and Patriarch have a history. Our history is Omega's history. Long, bloody, and always ending in my favor. The details are complicated. When I arrived, Omega was lawless, a land of opportunity. I built alliances and destroyed the fools who wouldn't get in line, which was most of them. But Patriarch, it was something different. A powerful friend. I'm surprised you were ever anything but rivals. We were allies for a hundred years. I suppose he decided that was long enough. Wasn't a surprise when he turned. He controlled the muscle. My people contributed more subtle action. Espionage, politics, assassination. Fortunately for me, his men had become accustomed to certain benefits of working with Asari. Sounds like you changed the rules. 
and the battlefield. Krogan nature made it easy for us to take advantage. Patriarch's men abandoned him in droves. In the end, we fought face to face on this very spot. The toughest fight of my life. But of course I won. So you kept him around as a trophy? I did. A trophy and an example. Whenever someone thought about taking me on, I pointed them to Patriarch. I suppose I still can. Patriarch doesn't sound like something an Asari would come up with. I found it humorous. He wanted power. And we pretended he had it with a word that doesn't exist for my people. I eventually found a certain respect for the title and the man. Interesting. But let's move on. Do you need something else? Thanks. Maybe I'll come back later. Why don't you find a nice girl to keep you warm in the meantime? You look like you need to loosen up a little. What? Do you know a Solarian named Ish? I know of him. He's collecting information about you. Plans to sell it to the highest bidder. I have no secrets. None at all. Take a look at this data. What? Where did you get this? This, this is privileged information. I'm not sure Arya would approve of this kind of behavior. Arya doesn't need to know, does she? She'll find out one way or another. Or are you forgetting what she's capable of? What do you want from me? I'm feeling awfully talkative, especially around Arya. This ought to do it. Now get out of my sight and don't go looking for Ish. You won't find him. Thank you for the heads up, human.
up and go into hiding in the abyss? Don't. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. I'm glad things worked out, Commander. I was worried you'd dump Samara for some crazy soul sucker with a death fetish all lithe and sexy and... Never mind. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. 
You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Still, my feelings have always come after my duty. The same is true of you. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. Killed her for being what she was. And I would again. But I also know what it means to leave everything behind and fight. Do you realize that she went on the run at the age of 40? I do not know human years well, but it is very young for Asari. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth, but of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This was never a story that would have a happy outcome. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission? I am a Justicar. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardatyakshi. I thought Ardat Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. There's no way to correct the condition Morinth had? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari-exclusive pairings. I don't know. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. You still control the direction of your life. I have chosen this path. I truly am at peace, due in no small part to you. Shepard. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I wish to meditate. Do you have any suggestions about using some of the resources we've gathered? I have done what I can to increase our exploration capabilities. Anything beyond that is up to you. What are your impressions of Miranda and Jacob? Jacob is an earnest young man. Events will either forge him into a great man or utterly destroy him. Miranda is undoubtedly a hard woman. I respect her strength and determination. She carries many burdens and doesn't share them with others, as it should be. How do you think our mission is going? Spirits are high. We have a strong team and everyone is committed. I should go. Of course.
Hey, got a minute? It's really weird to see Miranda smiling while she's working. And it's all because of you. Be gentle with her, Shepard. Tally is so cute. You're all she talks about in that sweet rainbows and butterflies kind of way. She loves you, Shepard. Be good to her. So, you and Kelly, huh? Sounds like you two had a nice date. I thought she was coming on to me at first, but maybe she was just being friendly to the new girl. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. That painting has a special place in my heart. An art collector hired me to steal it. When I got there, the painting was gone. On the way out, I saw it being hauled off by another thief. I chased him down, tackled him, and took the painting. That's how KG and I met. We never did turn it into our employers. The Red Rose. That used to be my calling card when I first started out. In place of whatever I took, I left a single red rose. It wasn't until I met KG that I realized how silly it was. He had a way of making you realize when you were just being sentimental. I stole that on a dare, believe it or not. There was a big museum show coming to Ilium. Artifacts from Earth going on tour. Very high security. KG dared me to steal this. So I broke in, hacked the security, put a few guards to sleep, and replaced the piece with a worthless duplicate. They never knew the difference. My first museum job. Nowhere near the last. Don't laugh, I like those books. Romance novels, crime novels, the classics. There's something about the feel of actual paper in your hands, their musty smell. It's relaxing. KG used to find books for me while on the job. Some of these are more valuable than the objects he was hired to steal. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Always. I'm dealing with a few loose ends for Cerberus. We haven't had much free time lately. But I haven't forgotten our earlier discussion. I think we're crazy, but I haven't forgotten. Assuming you're still interested. Yeah, that was the plan. Glad to hear it. I'll be by the next time things are quiet. <laughs>